In this tutorial, for beginners, I will show you how to create images using Leonardo AI in 2024. So here we are on Leonardo.ai. From here, we're going to select Get Started. Now, I already have a Leonardo.ai account, so I won't need to sign up. You will have the option of signing up through Apple, Microsoft, Google, or alternatively using your email account and the password. Once inside Leonardo.ai, you'll be faced with this screen where there's quite a few things to have a look at. You can have a look through the community creations. These are creations that you can use that have been created by users inside of Leonardo AI. We're going to create our own right now. At the top of the screen, you can see create new image. Select create new image. There's a prompt here on screen where it reads get started. Click the input box at the top of the screen and type your idea. Hit generate to see what it looks like. Try changing the style of your output by selecting a different style from the sidebar item labeled style. Leveling things up, you can pick a preset to match your mood from dreamy to photorealistic and beyond. Let's select next because we're going to go through this all in just a moment. But wait, there's more. Image guidance. Click the plus icon to the left of the prompt box to use image guidance. Now it includes character reference to help you create consistent characters using any image. Elements, using the same drop down menu via the plus button, access the entire suite of elements. So there are elements that you can use as well. Advanced tools, the sidebar has additional output controls including quality, speed, aspect ratio and more. Let's go, let's get started creating our images inside of Leonardo AI. Let's walk you through how this works. So on the left hand side right here, you can see a few presets. Let's select that drop down to see what we have. So we have bokeh, cinematic, and a lot more. In this example, we're going to use cinematic. What I want to create in this example is first a character Snow White, a recognizable character is what I'm going to use. And I'm going to come up with something quite eccentric for this AI to create. I'm going to put Snow White fighting a dragon on a mountain. And the setting is in the rain and bright sun. That is the prompt that I'm going to give this AI to begin with because I want to show you what you're capable of doing as a beginner once you get started. Now, we have our prompt at the top of the screen. There are a few filters, if you will, on the left hand side to change the quality, aspect ratio and more. Let's walk you through these. We have contrast. For this contrast level, I'm going to select medium. So contrast is going to be the contrast of the image itself. It basically lets you know how bright or how dark some of the values of the image actually are once creating. You then have generation mode. If we hover over this, it says toggle between fast generations and slower quality generations. Quality is formerly known as Alchemy version 2. Keep this in mind because we will be having a look at more of this a bit later on in this tutorial and it will make much more sense. You then have the image dimensions. Now the image dimensions, a four by three is normally that rectangular image, but not a full screen image, as you can see right here. A one by one, which is a square, and you can see the examples with the images that you're selecting right here. So if you're creating, for example, for Instagram, you would select a one by one. If you're creating for a video rectangular size, you will select a 16 by nine, for example. That's a more of a rectangular image. And of course, for social media posting, you might want to go for a 4.3. Now there's also the resolution of the image as well. And they're given just below right here. So if we zoom in, I can give you a better look. Small, this is the resolution that's given. Medium is a regular rectangular size for a video, 1280 by 720. That's a 720p image. I'm going to select this. Now the number of images is also very important because we're using the free version of Leonardo right now. If we select and go forward as we are right now, we will get four images generated. This is very important because usually there are tokens that we are using when generating our image. So you're using tokens to generate each image. You also have private mode. Hide your generations from the community feed. 
So if you want to be more private with your creations, then you will toggle this on. Right now, we can't do this because we do not yet have a paid version, as I think that's for a paid version of the account. We also have advanced settings. Going into your advanced settings, we have photo reel, negative prompt, transparency, tarling, and more. We're going to leave these for now and we're going to generate our image. Now it's generating our image of Snow White fighting a dragon on a mountain in the rain and bright sun. Let's see what the AI creates for us. Great, so now we have our images that have been created by Leonardo AI. That is using a prompt. There's a lot more that we can do right here. There's also a notification on the bottom of the screen here which reads to celebrate the launch of our new image generation interface we're giving free users access to a range of premium features until the 30th of May 2024. This includes all presets, most image guidance options, styles, batch sizes and image resolutions. So that's a prompt of a promotion that is currently available in Leonardo AI. This might not be available when you are getting started, but just to let you know that this is available at this current time. Now we have our images. Let's take a closer look because there's quite a few things that we can do with our images once they've been created in Leonardo AI. I'm gonna pick an image that I'm fond of, an image that I like at this moment in time. Let's go for this one right here or the one with the apple. So now I've taken a closer look at our image in Leonardo AI. Now we've just created this using a prompt. There are a few things down below that we can change here. We have copy to clipboard, which of course you're copying the image ready to paste. Remove background. This will cost two tokens. You have 137 tokens remaining for today. Resets in nine hours. So your tokens will reset in a specific amount of hours. So you'll be able to use the functions using tokens in nine hours time if you've used all of your tokens. It will cost two tokens to remove the background. If I select to remove the background now, let's have a look. So we're just removing the background of this image. It's an AI generated image, so it should recognize the background quite easily as it won't need to really go into depth of what the image is when it's recognizing a background because it was created by the AI itself. Now from this drop down, it says original image. I'm going to select the drop down and I'm going to select no background. Let's have a look and see what the AI has done. So now it's removed the background as much as possible from the image. And there are still parts of the image remaining. But once using the background remove ad, you can see the results inside of Leonardo AI. You can then use this image without the background and place it on another image as you feel. You can then use this image however you feel, placing this on top of another image, maybe another background that you've created. In this example, I'm gonna put the original image back together and I'm going to select the Alchemy Upscaler. Use this to refine and upscale your images. This can improve faces and hands as part of the process. So let's select this, as when AI is creating images, sometimes eyes and facial expressions can be a little bit deformed. If this is the case, this is where you would go in to make those changes. Refiner strength. The higher the strength, the more the refiner will adjust the image to attempt to improve it while upscaling. If you're already quite happy with the base image, use medium or low. Let's say I wanna upscale this to a high image. Smooth mode. Smooth mode can substantially enhance image coherence and improve hands and faces, but may impact fine details. Works best with airbrush styles, vector style images, and tame chaotic visuals. Now we don't have a chaotic visual. We don't have anything that is too airbrushed or anything that is too out of the norm in terms of details, as the details are quite defined. There's a dragon, Snow White and the background. Those finer details are more to do with textures on the ground or mountain. But let's select this anyway, just to see what the upscale looks like. I'm going to upscale the image now, and you can do the same if you're not happy with your AI generated image inside of Leonardo AI, if you want to upgrade the quality. So now let's take a zoom into the image just slightly here to have a look at that quality improvement. You can see that some of the face of Snow White and now the dragon has now been improved and you've just saw that change right in front of your eyes. Look at that improvement to that image. You can see the scales on the dragon, the dragon's face, as well as Snow White's face, which at first wasn't as clear as it is now. And you can see as clear as day that that image has been dramatically improved. Brilliant upscaling using 
this AI feature. If you want to download your image, you would then select this icon right here. I'm going to download my Snow White with a Dragon image right now. That's been downloaded successfully. There's more that we can do in Leonardo AI. Now let's have a look at the advanced settings and how we can change our image with these settings here. You can see that the model that we're using is currently Leonardo Kino XL. Let's select a different one just for reference. There are a few other options available right here. High quality finishing pipeline that results in more photorealistic outputs. This is what happens when you select photo real. Let's do that right now. Negative prompt. Enter what you do not want to see in the image. So if you want to expel something from the image, then of course this is a option that you could select right here. And then you can enter that prompt below. Let's say we do not want a mounting in the background. No mounting in the background of the image. Transparency is also an option that's available. Allows images to be generated with a transparent background. Do not specify a background in your prompt as you may get undesirable results. Does not work well with Leonardo Diffusion XL. So of course, if you want to create an image with a transparent background, maybe for editing later on, this is something that you can do. There is also tiling. Ideal for repeating textures or backgrounds. Use fixed seeds is also available. Now that we've changed a few of the advanced settings, let's repeat the prompt and see what we get. So now we have a photorealistic style, a completely different type of processing model in cinematic with our resolution and our prompt, making sure there are no mountains in the background of the image. Let's see our results. This has completely changed our image. This is because we're using a different processing model for our images here. And it's give a photorealistic version of the picture, but with a different model, also including our negative prompt. So it's made sure there are no mountains in the background. Let's have a look closer at one of the images here. So let's make a selection. So now you can see our image and let's take a closer look around and we can edit this image as we did with the image previously. But there are a few other options due to it being a different model. So the Alchemy Smooth Upscale is completely different to the upscaling that we had previously available with the other model. So depending on what model you choose to create your images with, will decide what tools you have to edit your image later on. For example, Alchemy Smooth Scale is for images with smooth textures, which includes illustrative, anime and cartoon like images. This will cost five tokens. So remember we're using our tokens to complete these actions. You have 91 tokens remaining for today. Reset to nine hours. Let's select this now to give our image more of an anime cartoon look and let's see the results. So I've just selected that prompt. Let's see the change. So we've made the change to the image right now and there is a slight more of a cartoony look to the image that you can see right here. And like before, we have an upscaler. We can also delete the image. And of course we can remove the background and copy to clipboard and download like before. Let's say you're entirely unsure of the type of image you want to create. You can use images that have already been created by the community to begin your prompt. Let's show you how this is done. Right here we have an image of Batman. Let's select this image of Batman that has been created by the community. There are prompt details that we can use as a starting point for our own image. I can copy this as a prompt to my clipboard. When creating a new image, we can now paste what this prompt is that ended with this result and make a few changes where we see fit. We can also generate using the same model. If I select generate with photo real and then select let's go, that means I'm now using the same model that that person used to create that version of Batman. And I would be able to create, for example, Naruto instead of Batman in a similar setting. I'm going to first paste the prompt and instead of Robert Pattinson, I could select a maybe Justin Bieber as Naruto. And let's see what this looks like. So let's generate. So just changing the prompt slightly using the same model. Let's see what result we get using the creative model that that person has used as a part of the Leonardo community. As you can see, it doesn't look too much like Naruto Uzumaki as the AI probably didn't recognize who Naruto was. But you can see it really does look like Justin Bieber with Naruto's hair in a sort of Batman costume, if you will, 
in Gotham. This is a very photorealistic image. The reason why he is not wearing Naruto's outfit is because I didn't give any prompt to put forward that he should be wearing Naruto's outfit. Instead, he's wearing the same sort of suit that a Batman character would be wearing as I did not change the prompt. But just to give you an idea of how you can quickly change the image to suit your needs and what you're looking for, that's how you can paste somebody else's prompt and use their model in order to create something similar. Let's go back into the community to see a little bit more of what we can do. In the community creation section, instead of trending, you can go for top or new. Let's try top. And these are other creations by the community that you can use in order to create your own images in the way that we just have with that Batman image. There are also some other options inside of Leonardo AI to edit your images. And of course, if you wanted to make some changes to an image that has been created by the community yourself without changing the actual subject in the image, for example, let's paste that prompt again, Robert Patterson as Batman, the Dark Knight. As you can see, you can run out of tokens fairly quickly as I've just entered another prompt and this is what I've been faced with. It says, you're almost out of tokens. Upgrade for more features and benefits. You can see there are a few options, a few paid options that you can get today to begin with this AI. You have Apprentice, which is £10 per month or $10 per month. Artisan, which is $24 a month. And of course, Maestro, which is $48 per month. And you can see what you can get with those packages here. I'm going to select maybe later. I'm going to continue with my creations with the remaining credits. So I've just recreated that Batman image and I'm going to make a few changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one right here, open it back up and just make a few changes when, until I'm happy with the image. So of course we can remove the background if we really wanted to of the image that we've just seen, Robert Patterson as Batman the Dark Knight. I'm just going to remove the background alleyway just to see what this looks like, to see if I can get a transparent image with Batman as the foreground subject. Let's take a look. So it's now being generated and I'm going to select no background and brilliant. I now have a Batman image with no background and I can use that where I see fit. For example, create another image background and place Batman on top of it or use it for another editing purpose. Remember that you can actually take down how many images you are generating as we've been generating four images at a time. If you want to generate one image at a time, of course, select one and the same for the rest two, three, or four, or above. Remember that you will be using your credits for your image creations. So keep an eye on your credits when you're getting started. And that is how you use Leonardo AI as a beginner. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.